Welcome back guys, my name is Jesse Gillow and today we are looking at the Bruce Lee playing cards by Art of Play. Okay, so let's find the tab for this. Oh, there it is. Woo! Take that off. Tell me down below, do you actually leave the cell phone on or do you always take that off? I'm not sure. I always normally keep it on, but recently I've been taking it off. Do you guys leave it on or take it off? Tell me down below in the comment section and let's get into this review. The front of the tuck looks like this, having Bruce Lee, an old black and white picture of him black in the background, sort of showing the shadow, Bruce Lee in yellow writing saying playing cards. On the side we have a karate kick, Chotty Makawakwea guy, Bruce Lee, and then saying Bruce Lee again repeatedly. Having the barcode numbers at the bottom, TMT and all rights and reserve. Basically saying that you can't copy this deck of cards. Leave it there if you want to pause the video. And yes, it is produced and distributed by Art of Play and made is and it is made in the USA. On the top we also have a bit of Chinese writing saying Dragon Back. And on the back of the tuck where it says absorb what is useful, reject what is useless, add what is is essentially your own. And then in white word text saying, known to the world as a material artist, actor, and philosopher, meaning he saw the world in many different ways. Bruce Lee complained countless volumes on his way to seeing the world. From these thoughts are 52 quotes presented in this, wow, that's cool, 52 quotes commented, that is awesome, deck of playing cards from one of the finest minds of this past century, wow, that, that is a really cool in-depth text, that is absolutely insane, I really like how they added that on the back of the tuck, very inspiring. And then ending it there with the tongue seal, which is just the blue lotus, or also known as the two fish, the white and the black. If you've seen Avatar the cartoon, Last Airbender, wink wink. Anyway, let's get into this, shall we? Oh, oh, mm. yeah, ah, yeah. Mm. Oh, there we go, there we go. Just for all those who are wondering how I open my cards, that's exactly how I keep the seal intact. And whoo. Oh my gosh, lordy lordy, wow. Would you look at that inside of the tuck? It is amazing. It's like kills and oh, that looks amazing. That is pretty much everything I can say about the tuck case. Let's look at the cards. So straight out of the box, the cards feel amazing and are extremely thin cards. They are Wow, these cards feel amazing. So, we'll go straight into the back design. The back design looks like this is a dragon sort of bent into another dragon's head, making it a two-way back design, having a nice thin white thickish border going all the way around with a nice yellow line going all the way around black and it's the yellow the black and the white also come together very nicely making a nice spread there it's like an ancient playing cards which looks really cool oh wow that looks awesome loving the center let's see if we can do that oh yeah that looks amazing wow yeah yeah that would look cool for a trick um, and that's pretty much everything you can say about the back design. Let's look at the cards. Receive two jokers, and they are not identical. They are two custom jokers saying, well, actually, they say nothing on them, and they just have Bruce Lee doing some pretty sick, awesome, cool moves. One with the left, so that's his right, yeah, that's his right hand, doing the right kick. Uh, let me just see, hang on. Yeah, yeah he's doing the right handed kick swing which is super cool and then he's doing the uh, straight kick swing which is also very cool I'm not even sure if I got those names right but you know it sounded cool and they look cool um, that is really cool it's, it's not cartoon too it's it's real life black and white so that is really cool touch to the jokers just for those people out there I'll go straight into it these cards feel good straight out of the box they feel good they look good 
And yeah, um, and if you're wondering, I would use this deck of cards for magic. Yeah, maybe not because the face cards do look like that. I'll get into that later, but it's definitely a cardistry deck of cards. It's definitely a cardistry deck of cards. And it's definitely can be used for a card game. I wouldn't use it for poker, but I'd use it for like Go Fish and other card games like that. So let's look at what else you get with this deck of cards. So here we have the ad cards, and on the ad cards we have one with just the normal back and one that has two-way back design, sort of sort of a weird looking um on both sides. So first of all on this side just says Art of Play, where they are produced and where it comes from, artofplay.com, where you can buy the cards, their site, Art of Play logo, the finest playing cards and puzzles and games. So that's really cool. And on the other side it has the yellow karate kick Bruce Lee again saying Bruce Lee's art was steeped in a philosophical foundation and did not follow long held material traditions. Instead it had it had and said whoa 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 that is so cool. Instead it had at its core the ideas of simplicity directness and personal freedom. I definitely didn't say that word right, but that is okay. I'll leave it there if you want to read that more momentum and more in depth in your mind. Let me just focus that. Yeah, pause the video right now if you want to see that in depth. And the last ad card is super cool because it has Bruce Lee doing the karate yellow kick guy there and then Bruce Lee's signature down the bottom saying, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Yeah, well, that's so true. That'd be like if you practice the spring, uh, like 10,000 cardistry moves once, but if you fear the person who's done that 100,000 times, just the card spring to make it look perfect. Don't know if that made any sense, but that looks really cool. Definitely could frame those cards, by the way. Yeah, actually, just maybe picture, definitely maybe like put them like that in a frame or something. I definitely could imagine that in a frame on my wall. Um, let's get into the face cards. Also, really quickly, don't you hate when um, you're talking on camera or if you're just, if you're somewhere and you're reviewing something or you're just showing someone something and the words just seem so tongue twisting, yet when you like look at them by yourself or in person or something, the words just makes so much more sense. It's so much weirder when you're on camera. If, if you ever film yourself, you'll understand one day, but yeah, the words the words don't make sense when you're on camera. Anyway, back into the cards. Let's get into this review, shall we? And that is a disgusting Ace of Spades. No, it's it's alright. I don't, I don't personally love that Ace of Spades. It kind of looks a bit hard to tell if that's an Ace. Um, I feel like the Ace of Spades should have had Bruce Lee's face or something. But, yeah, there wasn't much thought put into that Ace of Spades. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's alright. It's not amazing. I would have expected something better from a Bruce Lee deck, though. Um, it's my honest opinion, though. You don't have to like it. I just don't like that. And the White Border 2, that will probably take it away from definitely a Magic deck, because I don't like how it has a big, big, thick white border around it. But it is cool in this, in this concept, because it has the... Um, words in the middle, which is really cool, and I'm going to be not reading them all, I'm just going to look through and look through my favourite quotes um, and read them, and I'll just pause them so you can read them yourself, because uh, I do like doing in-depth and detail reviews, so let's get into it. Alright yo, buckle in your seats, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, first of all we have, let me just focus that, why is it not focusing, oh, whoa, whoa. there we go, B. Water, my friend, Bruce Lee. Kapush. Straight out. I feel like this is going to take a while. Um, using no way as way. Having no limitation as limitation. That was a lot of tongue twisters there. To change with change is the changeless state. Wow, that is powerful. Wachow! I've actually never read any of these, so I'm actually looking through a camera lens, reading them, so it's really hard to read them through a camera lens. Um, that's another one. Oh, I like that one. Always be yourself. Express yourself. Have faith in yourself. Wow. 
that's powerful. The process of anything begins in the mind. Ten of spades, art is really the expression of the self. Wow. So if I do cardistry, I'm guess basically a deck of cards. That's what I got from that, that card, so anyway. No face cards, it's just straight into quotes. We're going to just take up a little bit of speed here, guys. Be a practical dreamer backed by action. I actually really like that one. You will never get any more out of life than you expect. Oh, wow. That's deep. That tells a lot. When I have listened to my mistakes, I have grown. Yeah, okay, that one I can't agree more. Learn from your mistakes. Don't make them mistakes. Make them your, your pathway to, to life. Under the sky, under the heavens, there is, there is but one family. We do not live for... We live simply... Wait, what? We do not live for... We live... We simply live... Ah, uh, okay. Walk on. Keep walking, my friend. Do not run away. Let go. Do not seek, for it will come when least expected. Wow. I feel like I should put all 52 of these on my Instagram. Should that be a challenge? Tell me down below if I should do that, or if that's just crazy. We're in the clubs, by the way. Oh, yeah, is that the remember success is a journey, not a destination. You have faith in your ability. You will do just fine. Wow. That's amazing. Success means doing something. Whew. Wow. I have no idea what that says in this light. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, let's read this backwards. Lived be too is it that is life of meaning the meaning. I think I read that backwards. Oh, that's a long one to read backwards. Don't think, feel. Mm, that could mean a lot of different things. This is like a G-rated version of Cards Against Humanity, but designed for playing cards. Not like I played that game or anything, I've just thought it looked like that. It reminded me of it, okay guys? Whew, down to the last suit. When you wait, wait that what that I have to read that that mentioned waves, I am a surfer, guys, I have to read that. It says wisdom does not consist of trying to rest where uh, rest rest. West rest the good from the evil, but it, in learning to ride them as a cork, and did just immense itself to the chest crests and hawks of the waves. That was pretty well um, expressed, I thought. Wow, this is taking longer than I thought, guys. Woo! Finally! I feel like we have to read the last one. It says, The inner self is the true self. In order to realize our true self, we must be willing to live without being defeated, depended upon the options of others. Wow. That is pretty cool. Wait, wait, drum ball. Beep, yep. Yeah, yeah, mm. Okay, let's quickly do a quick rating. I'm not going to give this a A plus or something like that. I'm going to give this out of 10, so I'm going to give this probably a... Mm, in terms of cardistry and card collecting, I'm going to give this a solid 8 out of 10. The reason why 
is the only thing I don't like the Ace of Spades. I really don't like the Ace of Spades. Um, the back design is really cool. The tuck case is really cool. The jokers are really cool. The um, ad cards are really cool. The inside of the tuck is really cool and very well done. Uh, pretty much everything about the cards are really well done. The quotes are insanely inspiring. Um, I definitely would frame each and every one of these cards and put it like in a massive, like an uncut sheet for these cards would be insane. Definitely would buy an uncut sheet. Definitely a deck for any card collector. Card history because you can flash sort of, let's say you're doing this move, you can be like stop at a video and be like pausing. Be like, oh, what's that quote? And maybe that's like your quote of today. It'd be a really cool way of presenting a quote. So, yeah, I'm giving a solid 7.5 out of 10, I reckon. Oh. I'm going to give it a, a 8 out of 10. And the only reason why I lose the 2 is probably because of the... Um, well, 1, the Ace of Spades. I'm very disappointed in that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just the Ace of Spades. Um, and also the white border. It, it's alright. It doesn't really match my feeling. Um, and I don't like how they presented the numbers at the top. But other than that, it's a great deck of cards. I highly recommend it for any card collector out there. Anyway, guys, that is my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please drop a like if you did enjoy it. Comment down below. Tell me what you want else want to see reviewed. And uh, also subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the bell on if you are new here and stuff like that. So on, so on. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. I hope you're enjoying this content because I know I love making it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah